Hello everyone, welcome to the live stream. Um, yeah, let's just jump right into it, shall we? If the game will load up. There we go. Okay. Just send everyone back to bed. I thought I had sent it earlier into the morning, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, those are not good pictures of me. <laughs> Did you send them to me, Katie? Those are not good pictures. Um, so, uh, yeah, I went to uh, High Park here in Toronto today. Um, really nice. It's a cherry blossom season. So, um, all of them are just like, they're all blooming and everything. It's so pretty. That walk, oh, that walk is a long walk, let me tell you that. Okay, well, change diaper, change diaper. I'll the volume down so none of us can hear anything. <laughs> Alright, um... But yeah, no, it's, like, if you were to look it up on uh, Google, it's just, like, High Park, Toronto, Ontario. And, like, you can see the whole park. Um, there's these, um... Paths that we can go, and my sister and I went on this one that's along, like, the river. Or pond, or lake, or whatever it is. And it's just, it's really nice, so... We, I think we did the, I think it was about an hour and a half walk, I want to say. Uh, don't quote me on that. I mean, depending on how, like, I, and we only took one stop too. So that was, well, two stops, but the second one was to find a place to eat. So, uh, and then the, okay, so we did the whole, whole walk and we stopped once, but that was just to go uphill. And I just needed to like, drink something because we had pretty much done the whole thing and I hadn't had anything to drink. So I needed something to drink at that point. And then once we pretty much got back to like the main area, we stopped again to uh, see about getting something to eat. And we had to, f we had to look up somewhere to go. And then we walked to get uh, a sort of late lunch, I guess you could say. And then we kind of took a subway home <laughs> um but yeah no productive day very productive day i think so anyway it was nice it was it was really nice i enjoyed it a lot because it's nice to get out of the house you know okay see there's this you have this why don't you use this uh, you know what? When we have a lot of people, I won't really argue too much about that. <laughs> Alright, the toddlers are still asleep. Let's see what y'all doing. And yeah, we got both of the babies crying now. Uh, great. Okay. Feed and change your diaper. I feel ya, hun. I feel ya. But, um, yeah, that's just basically my long-winded way of telling you that I am very tired right now. So. Oh. Uh, I really just... <laughs> I was tempted on, like, not streaming today, and then she's like, oh no, because then I'll have to stream tomorrow to make up for it. And then I'd have to, like, edit the videos right afterwards because, you know, editing videos everything so I was like you know what let's do it today I can edit everything tomorrow so that it's posted for Wednesday oh 
Huh. What's this? Baby kick. Cool. And oh, that's just morning sickness. Um, there we are. Eating for two sec. Oh, we're not even in second trimester yet. Uh, getting rid of that. Getting rid of that. Cause you guys don't even know the person. Okay, what's wrong with you? Uh, bounce, cuddle, rock, because they don't need to change your diaper. By the way, did we ever figure out what, like, she would be doing to earn money? I mean, we don't need to do anything right now, but I just, I don't think we've actually decided on what she'd be doing to earn money. Yeah, that's turned off, okay. And I just realized I saw Moobot turned off, so I'm going to turn Moobot back on. I think I turned him off... I, I keep calling Mubot he. I was like, I turned him off. Um, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday when I was uh, doing the Hopa live stream. Hmm. That was a long live stream. Not um, Bioshock Minerva's Den, or Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den long, but yeah, that was, that was a long one. All right. Commands, custom commands, save, turn on, thank you, okay, there we go, um, yeah. Who's aging up? I th think someone's a- yes! Oh! The twins are aging up today! Awesome! Which means we're also gonna have to kick out- well, I mean, we can put a few more beds in there, I guess. just don't want a lot- Oh my god, I'm about to have five toddlers. I haven't had five toddlers since the first, uh, first generation. Whose names, by the way, I cannot remember anymore. <laughs> Um, I don't know, because, like, I did program for my, I, she's making virus, I mean, okay. Uh, okay, you, what skill are you working on? You are working on communication, which you're almost done. You are also working on communication. And that means you're also working. I'm just gonna have them get up to level three in all skills, like tablet skills. I should probably should probably treat them too, shouldn't I? Uh, I'll probably train them if um I can get all the skills before their birthday, because you're aging up on Sunday. And then those two are aging up on Tuesday. I have a song stuck in my head and... Okay, you know how on the screens I have like those weekly... I have those like little quotes and everything? Well, the song I have stuck in my head is the quote for this uh, week. You know, I don't always change them at the end of every week. I only, I only changed it for this one because it's stuck in my head. And it's um, from Blink-182, which it's not an amazing song. Uh, my sister, who is like, she is music. Her, her life is music. Um, like, I, I don't just take it's just like I listen to myself and it's not the best written song out there but <laughs> I don't know like she agrees with me. It's, like, it's not a, a great song but it's it's, a, it's like a meme and it's just like oh yay oh almost in second trimester awesome and it's just it's so 
it's so bad it's good it's like that and it's just <laughs> it's stuck in my head and I want to listen to it but I don't like the song <laughs> it's so weird it's so weird okay uh, 16 hours awesome so a little over a day then change diaper how are you lot doing? But it's um, it's just the opening too, which is funnier to me. Uh, it's a hello there, in from my nightmare, the shadow in the background of the morgue. That's what I've written. And then it's um, the unsuspecting victim, the shadows in the valley. We can live like Jack and Sally if you want. It's just like, it's, oh, like, her and I have had this song stuck in our heads since dinner last night, so, yeah, that's great, it's great, um, oh no, no, it's the bed itself, oh, okay, I just noticed that it has an extra, like, here, and I'm really confused, I was like, oh, something in the bed, but at the other one, it's like, nope, it's there too, so I was like, oh. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah. It's a very interesting song. <laughs> mm. I was gonna have tea and I defaulted to a uh, can of pop. That is really bad. Because I'm like, you know, I got up today, I went down and I took like a walk in High Park. But, uh, I think my, I think even though I took like allergy medication, I think it still acted up a bit. Uh, I think yeah, he might have had an accident. Yes, he did. Awesome. Oops. Yeah, you still got a sticky diaper. Oh, wait, hold on. Can you get through this door? I don't think you can. Hello there. Angel from my nightmare. Victor in the... the, the sh oh, that's shadow in the background of the morgue. <laughs> it's just so bad. Okay. You also need to change your first. No, I think it's just him. Okay. And I still only have one girl. That's great. I think, uh, is it. No, I think Edelweiss. Edelweiss is my girl. It's my only girl. Like, I was doing so well today, and then, I mean, granted, my lunch had a sub, so. Okay. There we go. And start on this one. Uh, no, thank you. All right, I'll let him get up to level three and then. Um. I'll, I'll reset it again. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Yes, 
expecting victim. Darkness in the valley. You can live with Jack and Sally if you want. Oh my gosh. Ooh, gonna bump that up again. And there we go. And if the video vice needs attention, probably hungry. But we'll bounce. Rock you. Rock me, Amadeus. And then I'll just have you get some uh, leftovers. There we are. Oh, gee. I have a cookie, and I'm debating if I want. Oh, I'll eat it after the stream. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. I'm probably just gonna rest all day tomorrow. I got bored from like editing and oh, so I got back into writing my story. I think I mentioned this a few times. And what I was doing was I was typing up what I had written, and then just continue typing. But I found that I had ideas floating around, but I wasn't quite sure how to add them in and stuff like that. And so I was just finding that writing the story was taking me a lot longer than normal because I wasn't quite sure. Love the apartment. Yeah, I love the apartment too. I'm just worried about when, you know, we started having like teens. Because right now, like, we're pretty much just focused on, like, this half of the apartment. So when we have to start going through, like, here and everything, when we start using this half, that's going to be even more fun. But, um... Yeah, so, um, a YouTuber I watch, and she's the whole reason I got back into writing in the first place. She was, uh, doing an experiment where she tried to write, like, Neil Gaiman for a day. Um, and apparently Neil Gaiman, he actually, a uh, rough copy, or first draft, or zero draft, whatever you want to call it, he writes that by hand. And I'm just like, you know what? I want to get back into reading my stories like that because that's how my ideas come to flow out better. Because it's not like, you know, I write part and then I jump over to a third part of the story and then I try to connect, connect the two. I write it in order. Or like if I have an idea, you know, I maybe I jot it down like on a separate sh uh, sheet of paper and then add it in where it fits better. Um, but I'm not, I don't really jump all over the place when it comes to my stories. And I think that's where, um, writing by hand is actually pretty good for me, as well as it's just this fluid motion. So, um, I've gone back into writing by hand, but of course, what I have to do right now is write down everything I had typed up. And once all that is written down in the notebook I have, then I'll just continue writing in the notebook. And I'm, what I'm thinking is that what I'll do is I'll write in the notebook for like maybe the day or two, depending on how far I get. And then at the end of the day, like maybe before, like not right before I go to bed, but near the end of the day when, you know, the creative juices aren't flowing as much anymore, I'll take what I have written and typed it up. So that way I'm not like super far behind from what I've written to what I have to type up kind of thing. Which will also help when I do Camp NaNoWriMo as well as NaNoWriMo. Um, which, you know, it'll be fun. That'll be fun. Okay. Uh, you need to do something fun, so watch the cooking channel. That's always fun, right? But I am just really excited to get back, not only into writing, but to working on the story that, you know, I haven't touched in years. I think I was 